Hey folks, so this is kind of a bittersweet battle video for me. Uh, this is my last Generation 4 PBR battle with my SAM team. That's my first OU singles team. It was the second team that I made for this channel, and it's gone through a lot of changes, a lot of uh, revisions over the last year. Um, but I'm saying goodbye to it for Gen 4 and moving it to Gen 5. I've redone the team quite a bit. Um, but it still feels like a SAM team to me in Gen 5. But so anyway, uh, this is a so this is the last time you're going to see my uh, beautiful Pokemon in PBR, uh, and this is a really good match to end on. Uh, this is a friend battle against Golden Link 40. We actually had two friend battles. I'll get around to uploading the other one at some point. Uh, that, the second one was a UU battle. Anyway, um, he leads off with his. Uh, <clears throat> Golem and predicting my taunt goes ahead and switches into his Zapdos. Um, but, you know, hey, at least he didn't set up Stealth Rocks. Uh, and I do get the taunt up, which is nice because now he can't Roost or anything, or Thunder Wave, or whatever other support moves Zapdos can have. Oh, Substitute! Uh, Zapdos is love substituting, especially in Gen 5. Um, anyway, so I go ahead and switch into Fupaloo uh, on a U turn, and he predicts that quite well. Excuse me. And goes for a U turn. Uh, not a U-turn, a Heat Wave, which is super effective. Uh, and although it doesn't one-hit KO me, uh, he does get the Burn Hacks, and that is going to kill me. Um, so that's really a shame. Uh, Poopa Loop, you didn't even stand a chance in this, your last battle. So everyone say goodbye to Poopa Loop. Uh, didn't make the cut uh, when I moved into Gen 5, so bye-bye. Um, next out for me is going to be Jirachi. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and call back his Golden Link. Um, predicting a move that's not going to be good for him. Uh, and he actually predicts a Thunder Punch, uh, and I guess because he switches into his Electivire, which would have loved getting a Thunder Punch to the face thanks to Motor Drive. But I instead went for Ice Punch, and it looks like it's going to be enough for a two-hit KO. So I go ahead and Ice Punch again, uh, expecting it to kill it. Um, but as you're about to see, it survives just a sliver of HP, so, you know, a kind of a max min kind of thing, this kind of situation. But Jirachi should be able to survive an Earthquake, and it does. It survives with just a little bit of HP. He calls back his Electivire, which is a smart move. You can save him for later, um, and why just sacrifice him? Um, it's not like I have rocks up or anything. So anyway, he switches into Heatran, which is going to 4x resist this Ice Punch. Yeah, 4x resist this Ice Punch. Um, and so as you see, it does nothing at all. Um, so I'm going to have to call Jirachi back. Heatran, as I said before, is kind of the bane of my existence. Um, and I don't really have anyone to counter him, but I go ahead and send in my Empoleon. Um, he goes ahead and uses a, uses Fire Blast, which I was really hoping it would miss, but it doesn't. And it does a hell of a lot of damage to my Tux. Um, doesn't take him out, but it does get the Burn Hacks, and it's like, whoa, what the heck is going on with all those Burn Hacks? Um, so that means I can't use Aqua Jet, uh, because its attack power is going to be halved. Um, so I decided, you know, whatever, he might switch, he might miss, I'm going to go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks while I still can. Um, because especially with his Electivire down, that was the equivalent of KOing one of his Pokemon. Assuming he doesn't have a Rapid Spinner, which I don't think he does from the team that I saw, um, he can't send out Electivire again without it killing him. So anyway, Tux dies thanks to Burn, which is just the lamest thing ever. I'm so pissed. Um, but I go ahead and send out Stella, um, and I go ahead and taunt, uh, this guy because, uh, I mean, between spikes, roost, uh, so many things, um, that guy can do that are not going to be pleasant for me. Um, but he decides to go for a Brave Bird, predicting my, uh, taunt, which was pretty smart. Uh, he takes a bit of recoil from that, and I could stall him out and just do roosts and everything. Um, but I do, I decide to U-turn out. Uh, again, I'm U-turning instead of switching just basically because there's no harm in it and a little bit of damage is better than no damage. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and switch in here to my Zapdos who's going to resist um, a Brave Bird. And yeah, he does use Brave Bird. And this is going to be really, really comical because this is a, this is a physically defensive uh, Zapdos. Um, so it survives that hit quite well. Uh, and uh, <laughs> basically one more turn of leftovers and I'm going to be back at the base league full health. So the switch is pretty obvious here, uh, and I'm not sure who's, who he's going to send out, uh, but I, I'm not going to use Heat Wave. Uh, Thunderbolt would have been the better move anyway because it's still 2x effective. Um, so I use Discharge. Um, yeah, Heat Wave would not have been uh, 
a good move um, because he has that heat ran out. Anyway, he doesn't get the flash fire boost. He goes ahead and fire blasts me, and that does a hell of a lot of damage. Again, I am physically defensive instead of specially defensive, so it's not that surprising. And again, in the case of max min damage, I really thought I'd be able to hit KO with stealth rock damage, but I can't kill it. And so now Pazuzu is going to die to another uh, uh, fire blast, and I'm really sad that none of his attacks have missed. Um, because that's the one saving grace of Fire Blast, that its accuracy isn't that great. And so now I should be able to take him out with a Jirachi, even though it's either 2x or 4x resisted, I go for the Iron Head, because he's down to such low HP, and as you see, it is enough to take out his Heatran, so that is quite nice. Um, I've taken down that guy. I really hate Heatran. Um, it's just so hard for me to counter with this team. Uh, anyway, next out for him is Starmie, and I've got such little HP, it's not worth switching, so I'm going to go ahead and use Iron Head, and just hope for the flinch hacks. Um, I know, it's lame, but after the min-max damage and the crits he's gotten, uh, you know, I can't really, you know, I can't, you can't, you can't really complain about a little bit of flinch hacks on an attack that has a 60% chance of flinching. Uh, so I do get two rounds of uh, flinch hacks, and that is going to be enough to uh, KO his Starmie, as you're about to see. Yep, there he goes. Um, and so I do manage to take out that guy, um, so that's nice. Um, Jirachi did a really great job here. Next up for him is his uh, Golem again. I'm like, that's kind of a strange move. Uh, he goes ahead, and it turns out he's got the Sucker Punch, and so that's why. Um, and I'm thinking that I can probably survive it because I resisted, but he gets a crit. Uh, plus I was down to fairly low HP. By the way, everyone say goodbye to the Jirachi. Also didn't make the cut, although I've done some rebreeds that might make him onto some other teams or maybe even the Sam team again. Um, the reason that uh, Jirachi wasn't on the Sam team to start with is because it's not allowed on random Wi-Fi um, because it's a special event Pokemon. Anyway, I go ahead and U-turn here instead of taunting, because I'm predicting that he's going to predict the taunt and is going to use some kind of Stone Edge or something. Uh, and so I switch into Mick, who should be able to resist any kind of attack like that. But instead, he he predicts my overprediction and goes for the Stealth Rock. So I'm like, oh man, I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. So he calls back his Breaker, um, his Golem, and goes ahead and switches Skarmory back out. Uh, thinking that it's going to pretty much be able to wall my um, Umbreon, which is, you know, a fairly good bet. I'm a physical attacker, uh, and I, so I go ahead and get off the curse, um, and I just decide, okay, well, that's that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to, after enough curses, I should be able to do enough damage to him. I'm kind of surprised that I go first here, but then I see that he goes for the Whirlwind, and I'm like, oh no, it's a phaser! Oh, that's so upsetting to me! Uh, so that's going to pull back my... Uh, my neck, my Umbreon, and he and force out my uh, Stella. Uh, Stella! Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go for the taunt here, uh, and so that way he's not going to be able to whirlwind anymore, and Skarmory goes ahead and goes for the Brave Bird, which I believe is going to take out uh, Stella this turn. Yes, it is. Everyone now say goodbye to Stella. Also didn't make the cut. Uh, between Prankster Pokemon and so much other stuff, there's really no point in using uh, lead uh, that anymore. Anyway, I'm down to my last Pokemon here, and he's got four left. Well, three if you don't count... Uh, why am I blanking? Uh, if you don't count Electivire. So Mick is up against a wall, and that is no exaggeration. Poor Mick is going to have to take on this entire team alone. But he's going to try, because that's what Mick does. Mick is awesome. So anyway, he calls back Skarmory and sends out his Breaker yet again. Uh, so I'm predicting, you know, the Sucker Punch isn't going to do anything to me, and I'm using a lot of support moves here. So he goes ahead and uses Earthquake, which isn't very surprising. Uh, it doesn't do very much, which is very, very happy-making. I'm very glad it didn't do uh, that much damage, because it's going to mean that I can wall this guy, I can keep on cursing. He goes for another Earthquake, uh, and... Actually, that's kind of... Am I... I think I might have screwed up which turn this is. But anyway, at this point, I go for the Moonlight to get my health back up. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so this is the second... Yeah, okay. Uh, so now he goes for the explosion. I was predicting that. I was... You know, it's a golem. Golems like to explode. It's not really uh, rocket science. Anyway, I survive with very, very little HP. And I'm thinking, oh god, who's he going to send out to finish me off? That's not good. I really should have gone for the Moonlight instead of the Payback. Uh... But I didn't know that he was going to explode that turn. In fact, I was starting to think that he wouldn't explode at all. 
Uh, but so anyway, he sends out his uh, Zapdos and goes ahead and Thunder Waves me. I'm like, that's got to be a misclick. I've been cursing. I want to be slow. And I've got Synchronize. So you just paralyze yourself. Plus, I've got the Lumberry, which he might he probably didn't know because uh, it's not that great of an item, probably most people will say. But so anyway, I restore most of my health right back, and it's just kind of funny. So I'm going to go ahead and use Curse here because Payback's power is going to get doubled as soon as I get slower than this guy. And he's going to help me out by thunder waving me again. I'm like, I, okay, Golden Link 40, I assume that you're going to watch this battle at some point. Please, please comment and tell me why you paralyzed me. Why? Uh, I mean, I'm, it's not for the speed, and the Parahax is only a 1 in 4 chance. Anyway, I've gotten, off enough cur I've gotten off enough curses that I can take out his Zapdos with a payback, and that's curtains for it. Uh, and now he's down to his last available Pokémon, which is Skarmory. And this is going to be a tough battle, I know, but I'm going to try to take it out. Uh, he goes ahead and roosts, and I'm pretty sure actually I'm going to recover this turn to get, uh, I'm going to Moonlight rather this turn to get my health back up. Uh, and so yeah, I'm back up to pretty full HP, uh, and that's good. And now he's going to go for the Brave Bird, but I've gotten so many curses that, barring a crit, it's not going to do anything to me. Yeah, you see, it didn't really do anything to me at all, and that's going to rack up a little bit of recoil damage, but again, not really. And now I get Parahaxed, and I'm like, okay, was that your plan all along? Golden Link 40, was that your plan all along? Um, but so anyway, he goes ahead and Brave Birds again, and I'm just going to... I'm, I'm, I get Parahaxed again. That's two turns in a row. I'm like, geez, my luck is just so awful. Uh, with all the min-max damage, the unfortunate crits, the burn hacks, this, is just, this battle's just not going my way. But Mick is tanking all these hits. So I go ahead and heal bell here. It's kind of silly to heal bell uh, on a Pokemon that you don't mind being paralyzed, but I'm just sick of the para hacks. So I'm dreading, dreading that this Brave Bird is going to um, crit on me, but it doesn't, and that's awesome. And so now, uh, so yeah, he racks up a little bit more damage. And so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and go for the payback, which it gets a crit. Mick, you awesome little Pokemon. I'm not sure if that crit mattered because, again, I gotten a, I had gotten a lot of curses up. Um, but that is going to be good game because his next Pokemon is going to die thanks to the Stealth Rocks. And Mick has swept half his team and pulled this battle out of the gutter. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Mick has got to be the, my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, so, besides Quilava, in case you saw that battle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Good game, Golden Link 40, and stay tuned for my first Gen 5 battle with this team.